Hi. Now what we've got here is two parts to a question which are based on the vector equation of a line. So if you'd like to uh, try this and haven't done it already, just pause the video, come back when ready and I'll run through the work solution with you. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So whenever I'm doing vector questions I always think it's a good idea just to sketch a diagram and this is certainly no exception so I'm going to have my line let's say that's the line L and we've got two points A and B on it so I'll just mark those two points A and B and we've got say the origin and we're looking in the first part for the vector A to B now if I want to go from A to B, it's a standard result when you want to go from one place to the other via the origin, it is always O to the last letter minus O to the first letter. And you should be able to see this from the diagram anyway. A to B would normally be A to O followed by O to B. O to B is plus OB but going from A to O is the same as minus O to A. So all we need to do is just put in these vectors and you could write them as row vectors okay, or you could write them as column vectors, it doesn't matter. If I write them as column vectors O to B then would be 8, 3, 4 okay, we'll just write that in as 8, 3, 4 I prefer column vectors because I don't have to keep fussing about the I's and J's and K's all the time. But as I say, it's up to you. And then minus O to A, so O to A, 10, 2, 3. So we've got 10, 2, 3. And then all we've got to do is subtract the component. So what we've got is 8 minus 10, which is minus 2. 3 minus 2, which is 1 and 4 minus 3 which is also 1 and you could leave it like that it's fine to leave it like that or you could write it as a row vector here we go minus 2i got to put a squiggle underneath your vectors though because we can't write them in bold plus 1j or just simply j plus 1k okay so either of those answers forms of those answers going to be suitable for this now in the next part we've got to find a vector equation for the line L. So in other words we're looking for the position vector of any point on that line and the standard letter for the position vector is R. And there's certainly two versions that spring to mind that you could uh, write down for the vector equation of the straight line and that is that R is equal to O to A, okay, O to A plus any amount, let's say lambda, in the direction of the vector AB. I'm assuming, by the way, that you're familiar with vector equations of lines at this point. If not, you can always check out vector equations of lines in tutorials on my website, examsolutions.net. Okay, but on that assumption, R is equal to a point on the line plus any amount in the direction of the line. So you could use A as your starting point or alternatively you could, we'll just come down here, go for using B as your starting point. So you'd have R equals O to B followed by any amount, let's change it from lambda to say another value, mu say in the direction of A to B. You could have even B to A for any of these, okay, it doesn't matter, but since we worked out A to B in the previous part, it seems sensible to go for that. So, find a vector equation for the line L. These are just a couple of possibilities. We haven't finished yet on any of these because we've got to put in the values. So, for O to A, O to A is going to be 10, 2, 3 as a vector, so we could write it as a column vector, 10, 2, 3, and then plus lambda in the direction A to B, 
which we got as minus 2, 1, 1. So put that in as minus 2, 1, 1. You could, if you wanted to, just leave it like that. Okay, that's very acceptable. You could write it out in row form, 10i plus 2j plus 3k plus lambda times all of minus 2i plus j plus k. Or you could even just group the components together. And this is very useful in questions to write it as 10 minus 2 lambda and then 2 plus lambda and then finally 3 plus lambda. Okay, grouping up those components there. Leave it up to you. And if you're following this one through in a similar fashion, O to B is going to be the column vector 8, 3, 4. So just put that in, 8, 3, 4. And then plus mu, okay, times A to B. A to B then is minus 2, 1, 1 again. Minus 2, 1, 1. And again, if we group these up as one vector, it would be 8 minus 2 mu, and then 3 plus mu, and lastly 4 plus mu. Okay, so find a vector equation for the line L. Find a vector equation so it doesn't really matter which one you do, and in which form you finish in. Okay, well I hope that's given you some idea on that part anyway.